Yes, yes, troll of my pretties, troll. Okay, I'm super excited to see the fan Rotom. This Pokemon is super amazing with how much shutdown that it can bring. I am, I'm just really happy to see it. So in comes the Rotom. It sets up a Thunder Wave and then it goes for a Confuse Ray and then the opponent never attacks again because of Air Slash. Super amounts of just flinch and stuff and just any kind of shutdown will be there. So Weezing does get that Will-O-Wisp, actually slower than the Rotom. This will set Rotom back just a bit, but not everything's about the sweep, you know. It's not always about the sweep. What you need to happen is just go for one for one. If you get the one for one and maybe a Thunder Wave or your Thunder Wave 2 Pokemon, or you switch out on a Confusion or something, you know, you get a lot of free stuff from this Rotom, and it begins. Now, Weezing... It's tanky, so it's not going to take much damage from the Air Slash, it's not going to take much damage from its own, like, hitting itself in confusion, and it actually gets to heal it up with the Black Sludge. So there are problems right there. Uh, Rotom might have to switch out, go into something that can deal with it, but that's when you just kind of, whoa, that Air Slash, okay. The Air Slash was doing more than I expected, like, if Weezing just does not get a chance to heal or do something about that, okay, this might actually work out. I did not expect that. But yeah, when you think about Weezing, go like hard physical defense with that Will-O-Wisp and stuff. And it doesn't really have too much special defense, I guess. Also could be a bit more offensive on that Weezing. Uh, it's sometimes you just see like hit point special attack, maybe? I don't know. So it is going to snap out. It is a setup Weezing. Going to have that Toxic Spike, so maybe not a special attacker. I've seen some kind of crazy damage things come out of these Pokemon. But we're faster, so the Air Slash will be knocking out the Weezing next turn. And then we can see if Rotom gets anything else out of it. Um, you're kind of behind in the setup because, yeah, the opponent is going to get that free Toxic Spikes, but if you have a Poison-type Pokemon or something that's still like a Lucario that is immune, then I guess it doesn't matter, and all you have to do is make sure you get, like, the Thunder Wave down, maybe Confusion on the next Pokemon coming in, and then Rotom's done its job. So, yeah, it's not about the sweep, but it's about having the annoying troll just win it for you, and in comes the Honchkrow. Now, Honchkrow could get interesting, so throwing out the Sucker Punch, not gonna work, man! You've already seen this! You're gonna get hacked out into oblivion! That's how this works! Oh man, if Honchkrow itself in confusion to an Air Slash, like, that could get pretty devastating right here. I'm super excited. Like, Rotom, yeah, he's taking a little bit of damage on that burn, but we just get the Confuse right down. Come on, I want, like, one turn of hacks. I want to see how this ends up converting right here. So, that's gonna be the Confusion. Honchkrow is confused. If, he, if it lands a hit, though... I was about to say, if it lands a hit, Rotom is going to have a bad day. And here we go. So, with the leftovers, the burn isn't as bad, just losing a 16th every turn. But that's not what a tank wants. A tank doesn't want stats. A tank doesn't want to have to deal with that. And in comes the Air Slash. So, the Air Slash damage on a Honchkrow, pretty decent. Are we going to see the confusion? Honchkrow is confused. Oh, he gets paralyzed instead. And that's what you just have those backups. Oh, what's that? 30% chance? Oh. 25% chance, 50% chance, you're just going down. That's all that matters right there. And it looks like the opponent does not want to deal with that and is going to forfeit. So the Rotom forces the forfeit off of the shenanigans. I love it. And we do have another battle, but I will give fair warning. I have seen this battle before, and the opponent doesn't make the best plays, but the Rotom still does some really cool stuff. So let's go and check it out. Also, kind of gives a better understanding of the team dynamic, and we'll we'll talk about that when we get to that point. Also, the opponent's bringing a hatch rate quasar. Just want to point that out. It's a Safari Ball on the... You know, it's, it's weird. Like, you, you get on that free battle spot, everyone is using cheated legendaries, and then it they have weird movesets, even though it's, like, so free. You have the hacked Pokemon. You can hack a good moveset. Why don't you? At least, if you're going to go all the way, just go all the way. And Rayquaza versus the Rotom. Now, Rotom actually has the decent matchup when you look at it initially, and the Rayquaza going for Dragon Dance is pretty... Like, what else are you going to do? You don't know what the Rotom... Well, actually, when you see Van Rotom, you know it's only there, there to troll you. But you don't really have too many other options, unless it's like a straight-up Draco Meteor. But on that Dragon's Ascent, that's going to be resisted. Ex extreme Speed, that's low base power. So, Thunder Wave into Confuse Ray. Thunder Wave is that ridiculous, that even a Mega Rayquaza at plus one doesn't get to outspeed the Rotom. And that's Confusion, and that's Paralysis. And Rayquaza does get paralyzed. So that 25% chance, that would get the Air Slash, and the Air Slash damage. It's a bit surprising. Like, a quarter of your opponent's health going away like that is pretty good. And then... Rayquaza, after that Dragon Dance boost, hits itself for another quarter of its health. So, I mean, that's all it takes. 
Two turns. Hits itself in confusion into the air slash. There's the paralysis right there. Just in case. Rotom, it gets that air slash down as well. And I mean, pretty much, okay, Rayquaza does snap out. Does go for the Dragon Pulse. So no Draco Meteor on the Rayquaza, which is kind of one of the first interesting little moveset choices right here. Um, even then, like, Draco Meteor might not have KO'd from full if we look at the damage breakdown right there. So it depends on how well the hacks stack up and stuff. But then that's going to be the Air Slash. Critical hit did not matter. Uh, you didn't even need to go for the Confusion right there. You have the speed advantage, and that's going to be just fine. Now we go into the Jirachi next. And when it comes down to Jirachi, it's it shows like the weakness of the strategy that Jirachi could have also like tried to go for like body slam and or at least Iron Head like tried to reverse hacks with that Serene Grace. But there's a Psychic, so interesting that's carrying the Psychic at least. And then we get the Thunder Wave down onto the opponent. So you know now we just go for the Thunder Wave, and when you go for Air Slash, you know Pokemon that resist the Flying type, so Rock and Steel, you're not really going to be able to do too much to them. So that's why you just carry like. Fire, fighting, ground type Pokemon to back you up, and then the Rotom's still really good. So uh, I'd imagine like Hippowdon, you switch out into the Hippowdon against like physical or something, you have a special tank that can bring fire. Um, at least as long as you can deal with those threats. Like fire and uh, earth power would be a really cool follow up with this. But then we just kind of like play it out. Now I'm not seeing any confusion right here, which I think is weird. Their Slash isn't doing a lot of damage, so eventually like you're just gonna have to switch out until like if something goes right if something goes wrong because yeah there's Jirachi with the wish so Jirachi with the wish means it this would last forever this battle would never end and eventually you have to switch out you know Rotom as I've mentioned it's it, it's a really reliable plus one maybe plus two maybe entire sweep but until we get to that point you know you can switch out Rotom doesn't lose anything by switching out you can come in and get that status down later and Lucario comes in but then we see a shadow ball on the Jirachi like I said, weird movesets. I don't get it. Jirachi's wish is going to come true, but Lucario is going to get the Swords Dance. Doesn't really feel threatened by the paralyzed Jirachi. And even then, like, Jirachi is paralyzed. It can't move. So it gets shut down for this turn as well. Lucario just throws out the Earthquake. So Swords Dance into physical on that Earthquake, which tells me it's probably Mega Sableye. And maybe a Focus Sash on the Lucario. That way you get your setup, and then you do damage from there. And now we get into the Mewtwo. Now, Lucario doesn't stand a chance against Mewtwo. It's paper made of paper stacked. Actually, no. It's not even paper made of paper with paper. It's, it's frail. There's there's nothing. There's no ways about it. So you get the extreme speed in there. The Sword Stance extreme speed does a little bit of damage. But that is going to be the shutdown on that Psychic. So the damage, pretty ridiculous. And now we go into the Rotom. And Mewtwo shows a dive. And this is where I was like, okay. Not sure what the opponent is up to. Now, it is actually stalling out the battle. It means that Mewtwo ha is going to last longer than he should because the Thunder Wave is going to miss. And we get to see dive damage, and then you go Thunder Wave Confusion. Then eventually he goes down with the Air Slash and stuff. So that works out. So there's the critical hit. There's the Thunder Wave. And that crit damage on the dive didn't really do too much either. So there's the Thunder Wave, and now Confusion hits itself in confusion. confusion. I don't know how much the Air Slash is going to do. Mewtwo has a little bit of natural special defense bulk that might carry through right here. Like after I saw the dive, I just I stopped the recording. I was like, all right, we need to we need to come in with a new angle on this one because I know people are going to comment about how the dive is bad and stuff. But I mean, still legendary stats that the Rotom is matching up against, and he took out the Rayquaza anyway. You know that would have worked with or without the Draco Meteor. So Rotom has the Air Slash. Air Slash will not finish off the Mewtwo, and then it's confused, but shows a Shockwave. Okay, so Dive Shockwave Mewtwo. Normally I say things in the new meta, but this is not the new meta because it's getting shut down by Rotom. Even then, when you look at like the Psychic damage, would have been better than nothing. Maybe Mewtwo might have been able to take out the Rotom, but it was already paralyzed and low anyways. So just an interesting battle on top of what we have already seen. You defeat Eric, and then I think the four like Rotom. He forces so many rage quits and stuff. I I actually really enjoyed that team. I was doing like the confuse ray into flinch move into swagger or a thunder wave or something. That was a fun team matchup. But I feel like it's really samey once you control enough. But it is something to bring back. Now the problem is I have only one Rotom. So now we're not even talking about the battle. That was cool. Good job. That was I love seeing the Rotom. My my little pretty did troll quite well. But when it comes to my team with the uh, Rotom, I have just one, and it switches between like Rotom Wash that has the uh, Will-O-Wisp setup, 
or the Rotom fan that has the Confuse Ray set up. So I might need to get some heart scales, I might need to change around the EVs or something just to make sure it works out pretty well. So it is a bit of a chore, and then I don't get to use my Rotom Wash, which is my really standard, like, it's a staple of my singles team so I don't get obliterated by uh, Talonflame. And I'm just talking about other crazy things that don't even have anything to do with this battle. But yeah, Talonflame, really strong against Mega Sableye. I like having the Wash Rotom. I can't bring my Fan Rotom. But this is my Spirit Fan Rotom sweep. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hope you all have a nice day. Get ready for Last Fan Fridays coming up next.